Module One, Lesson Two, Objective: Recognize a digit represents ten times the value of what it represents in the place to its right. Here we have a place value chart with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Let's think about what happens when we multiply multiple copies of one unit by ten. So, for instance, if we have ten times three ten thousands, if we were to model ten times three ten thousands, then we will look at three ten thousands first by placing. Three place value discs within the ten thousands place. The next thing that we can do is let's think what happens when we multiply ten times those three. For each of those ten thousands, this one of them is now ten of them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten because we multiplied by ten. And we'll do the same thing for those other two there. So now, instead of three ten thousands, we have ten times three ten thousands, or thirty ten thousands. What we can do is yes, we do have thirty ten thousands, but we will be able to regroup as well. So let's write out thirty ten thousands first. And let's see how it is that we regroup those. So when we have ten ten thousands, what is that worth? What do we do with those ten? Right, we can exchange it for one hundred thousand. Same thing with this one here. One more and another group of ten. We can also exchange that for one hundred thousand. So thirty ten thousands is also equal to one, two, and three hundred thousand. So we have three hundred thousands, which in standard form would be written as three zero zero comma zero zero zero, or three hundred thousand. So what we've done is when we multiply multiple copies, we had three ten thousands there by ten. We get ten times as large of a number. Let's look at another problem. Here we have ten times three hundred thousands. What does this equal? Well, let's see. Ten times three, instead of just three hundred thousands, I'm going to have ten times three, or thirty of those. Thirty what? It would still be hundred thousands. For each of those hundred thousands. And we have ten of those hundred thousands. We can go ahead and and exchange ten of those hundred thousands and regroup it one place value over to the left. So if this is the hundred thousands place, and we had thirty of them here. What is the place value over, and one over? From the hundred thousands place, we would regroup one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. But we could get to do that three times because there are thirty hundred thousands. What's the place value over from there, though? Did you say millions place? So for each ten hundred thousands, we would get one million. So a million there, a million there, and another million there. How many millions is that? So thirty hundred thousands is equal to three million. 
which is written in standard form like this. You'll notice I just used part of a place value chart to kind of just really show you that it is just one place over. Typically, I would draw out the whole place value chart like I did on the previous page. Let's give you a chance to try. We have five ten thousands, and we're going to multiply it by ten. Start with drawing your place value chart. Next, think about what happens to that number if you multiply by ten. I labeled my place value chart. Five ten thousands, one, two, three, four, five. And so if then for each of those five ten thousands, we have to make them into ten. Pause the video if you have not done your work yet so you can complete your work. Those are all in the ten thousands place. What happens when we multiply by ten? Those ten thousands get one ten times larger. Ten of those ten thousands equals one hundred thousand. Ten more of those equals one hundred thousand. Ten more of those equals one hundred thousand. Ten more of those equals right one hundred thousand. And then ten more of them also equal. 100,000. So 5 ten thousands times 10 equals 50 ten thousands. And then we regroup those 50 ten thousands to the next place over. So 50 ten thousands is equal to 5 hundred thousands. And then hopefully you wrote it in standard form as well, where it is that that equals 5 hundred thousand. Here we have a new problem. We have seven ten thousands and we are dividing by ten. Let's look at this in a different way. Here we're going to look at the digits instead of drawing unit disks. So we have the ten thousands place. What happens when you divide by ten? What happens to those digits? So we have seven ten thousands. We know if we multiplied by 10, these 10,000s would have gotten larger or bigger. They would have been shifted over to the 100,000s place. When we divide by 10, they actually get shifted over to the right. And then so that digit gets shifted over one place to the right because we're dividing by 10. So those seven 10,000s are worth 1,000. Let's think about that. So if we had 10,000s here and 7 of them, yeah, if we divided it by 10, yeah, 10,000 divided by 10 would give us 1,000. Just like if we divided 1,000 by 10, we would get 100. Or 100 by 10, we would get 10. Or 10 by 10, 10 we would get 1. So 7 10,000s are now worth 7,000s. So 7 ten thousands divided by 10 is worth 7 thousands, which in standard form is written as 7 followed by 3 zeros. Let's look at another example. If we have 800 thousands divided by 10, we're looking at 800 thousands. Can you do this on your own? Can you give it a try? What would happen to that digit if we are dividing by 10? Here I'm writing out the place value chart. Did you label your place value chart correctly? You could have labeled it with words hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands. So you have the digit here, 8. What happens to the digit? If we're dividing by 10, it gets shifted one place over to the right. So those 800 thousands are now worth Eight ten thousands. How do you write eight ten thousands? 
You can write it out, of course, in unit form first, and then you can write it back out in standard form. Let's read the whole thing together. 800 thousands divided by 10 does equal 8 ten thousands, which is equal to 80,000. So if you multiply by 10, your digits would shift to the left one place. If you divide by 10, your digits end up getting shifted over to the right. 